Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2021 Variant 3 1. I will be solving the spreadsheet task. The web page task is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So task 5 is the spreadsheet task. Open and examine the files j2131 home.csv and rate.csv row 2 in home.csv contains the location of the properties and row 3 to 8 contain the name of the properties so these are the files home this is home file make sure the data is completely visible you can click at this corner and double click so in this file you can see these are the locations in row 2 and the properties under this locations are shown in rows 3 to 8. The maximum number of properties for each location is uh, 6 properties. Some of the locations will be having 6 or uh, some of them less than 6. Data has been placed in cells B4 and B5 to help you test the model. Place in header left align list prepared by followed by a space your name center number and candidate number and then a space followed by on followed by a space and today's automated date so in the header left aligned in the list file so this is the list file go to insert header and footer left aligned you have to give list prepared by then a space give your name center number candidate number give a space the word on a space and today's date so give current date so that is done save the spreadsheet as j2131bhs followed by your center number and candidate number so let's save this you can come back to the normal view go to view normal save as inside your working folder you can save this as j2131bhs followed by your center number and candidate number and it should be saved as excel workbook save format the spreadsheet to look like this So you can see in row 1, cell A and B are merged. So let's merge these two. Merge and center. There is a black background and a white text. And the, files, uh, the phone size is 28 point. So it is 28 and you can see it is bold looking at the text you can see that it's bold so set it as bold next uh, row 2 is partially visible and row 3 the cells A and B are merged so make row 2 partially visible these two are merged and it's bold now from cell A4 to B15 all of the data are center aligned so let's make it center aligned so that is done now enter format the merge cell we have already done enter a function in cell b7 which depending on the room type looks up the number of persons from the rate.csv and we have to enter a function in cell b7 depending on the room type so b7 means we have to enter the formula here and we have to look up the number of person depending on the room type so the lookup value will be this one and it should be looked up from the rate file so you can see based on the 
code of the room, the number of persons, rate per night, breakfast all are given. So we need to get the number of persons which is in the second column. So let's use a VLOOKUP function equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value will be the room type because we are look, going to look up the number of persons based on the room type we have entered here. And the table array will be the whole table. You can select the whole table. And the column index will be the column from which you need the answer. So we need number of persons. So let's give column index 2 and range lookup is 0 for the exact match. Give OK. So you'll get the number of persons here. Next enter a function in cell B8 which depending on the room type displays whether breakfast is provided using the file J2131 rate. So it is a similar function based on the room type we have to show whether the breakfast is provided. So we can use the same function. The breakfast provided is shown in the fourth column that's the only difference so the column index will change everything else will be the same so you can give a vlookup function or you can copy the vlookup and edit it vlookup the lookup value will be room then ta table array is this table and the column index will be 4 because the breakfast provided is shown in the fourth column. So 4 and then 0. Next cells B10 to B15 must display the names of all properties in the location entered in B4 by the user. If there are less than 6 properties available in that location, cells not displaying a property name should be blank. So from cells B10 to B15 must display the property names. B10 means from here to here. So we have seen in the home file that each location has some properties. The maximum number of properties is 6. So some of them will be having 6 or 5 or less than that. So according to the question, we have to show all the properties of a particular location which is entered in B4 by the user. If there are less than 6 properties available, cells not displaying a property name should be blank. Enter formula in cell B10 that displays the first property and then replicate this formula into cells B11 to B15. So based on this location, we are going to find the property names. Now if you look at this table, this table, in this table the data is arranged in a horizontal manner. So for this location, if you want to get uh, the properties, it should be taken from this row. For the second property, it should be taken from the third row. And uh, uh, the table is arranged in a horizontal manner. So we are going to use an HLOOKUP function. If the table was arranged in a vertical manner and uh, we are going, the lookup value is as a column, we will use VLOOKUP. But here the lookup values are in a row as a horizontal row. So we are going to use the HLOOKUP function. So I will use the HLOOKUP function here equal to HLOOKUP. Now the lookup value is the location. The table array is the complete table from here till the end. And the row index, row index means if it is the first property, the row is the second row. For the second property, it will be third row. For the third property, it will be the fourth row in this table and so on. So for the row index, we can make use of this column. So for the first property, row index will be 2. 
So in order to get 2, we can add 1 to this uh, row number. So this a10 plus 1. That means it, the row index will be shown as 2. Now when it comes to the next cell, the row index will be a11 plus 1. That means it will be 3. Like that it will go on. So this in this way we have to show the row index. And the range lookup is 0 for exact match. Give OK. Now we need to replicate this formula for all the values here. So you know that the location is a constant for all the values. So we need to make it absolute. So you need to add the dollar sign for this lookup value. Now you can replicate so that we get all the properties. Now in this case you can see a 0 is shown because there is no value for this location for obut location if you check the table it has only five properties maximum six properties are there so that's what is given in the question if there are less than six properties available in that location cells not displaying a property name should be blank so if you change the location you can see uh, i'll change this location now So you can see all, it has only two properties but all the others are shown as 0. So whenever 0 appears it should be shown as a, a blank cell. So we need to edit this formula before replicating. So let's edit this. So if, if this value is a 0 then we don't have to show any uh, anything there. It should be a blank cell. Otherwise only this function needs to be evaluate so copy this formula once now let's give the if formula if the formula which we copied h lookup equal to 0 if it is 0 an empty cell should be displayed so this is the empty cell otherwise if it is 0 empty cell otherwise the formula should be evaluated so you can Place the formula there. Now you can close the if function. So the formula will look like this. If h lookup, if the formula we entered is equal to 0, then it will show a blank cell. Otherwise, it will evaluate the h lookup and show the result there. So now let's replicate and see. So here it's showing blank cell. Now when you enter other locations, you can see when, wherever 0 is there, the blank cell is shown. So this is the required formula. Next, save your spreadsheet, print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure that it is in landscape orientation, row and column headings are displayed, contents of all cells are fully visible and easily read. So to show the formula, you have to go to formulas, show formulas. Make sure everything is visible properly. So click at this corner and double click on any border. So all the formula are completely shown. Now you have to print this on a landscape page. So go to file, print. You can select landscape here and we need to make sure the row and column headings are shown. So go to page setup in sheet, row and column headings, landscape row and column headings and the contents of all cells are fully visible and easily read. So give OK. You can make sure it fit all columns on one page so that the data fits on it. It's not asked but uh, you can fit it on one page and it is visible. Next print your spreadsheet showing the values. So in order to print the values after printing this go back to the worksheet. Now remove the formula and now let's arrange the columns.
so now the values you can print and row and column headings it should be portrait and row and column headings are not displayed so you can set it to portrait and row and column headings should not be displayed so go to sheet remove row and co column headings change the data to produce a list of properties with a room type g in NUSA Limbong. So we have to type the room type G and this location. So go back. The location is and the room type is G. So you can see the data is displayed for this location and this room type. And now we need to print it as we did before. All the settings are similar as in the previous step. So just you need to go and print this values. So this is the end of the spreadsheet task. The web page task you can find in another video. The link is provided in the description. Thank you for now.